Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is a B-movie review. Today we're going to be having a look at a film starring Christopher Turner and Christine Hager, who you may know from LA Complex and the US version of Being Human. It's called A Little Bit Zombie and it's a strange horror comedy film um, that basically tells the tale of a group of four friends, two couples, as they go away for a sort of trip in the woods and one of them gets affected by a zombie. Now, what actually happens is, is that prior to this, you actually see um, a couple of professional zombie hunters dealing death to zombies, as you do. And it, in the midst of all the sort of fighting, there's a mosquito that bites one of the zombies and sort of flies off. And he's obviously got some zombie infected blood in him. And he actually bites one of the, uh, one of the four, sort of flies away and bites one of these four, sort of like, you know, the guy, one of these couples. And that's basically how he gets infected by the zombie. So, um, first thing is, obviously, we start off. This is not a film to be taken seriously, but you know. So this is this is a this is a world where obviously zombies exist. Uh, you're never really treated to um, any explanation to why they exist or you know how how they came to be. And to be honest with you, the actual zombie hunters are really sort of supporting characters you don't see them a hell of a lot and to be quite honest like a little way through the film i forgot they were even there um it all you get is there's there, there's a, a woman with like um who looks far too pretty to be like uh, like this sort of scientist with these big fake glasses and stuff and she's got some sort of magical crystal ball that somehow lets her detect zombies and a guy um who is basically the sort of the, the muscle and that's really it. You know anything about? Are they working alone? Are they working for us? And it's a sort of agency. Um, now, at first, I wasn't sure if people were sort of the general public in this universe was sort of aware of zombies, but um, it turns out that they aren't. So anyway, but the main story focuses on these two couples, um, and it's uh, the guy who got bitten by the mosquito is is infected by the zombie virus. But because it's such a minute amount, he's he he doesn't he doesn't fully turn, so hence the title a little bit zombie. So he's kind of going through this um, sort of transitional phase, and he's he's kind of part zombie, part human, uh, and all these hunters with their, their crystal ball basically he's detecting this sort of anomaly, and she's hoping to find some sort of cure from the virus. Now, basically, the, at first the the um, they don't really know what these four these four people. They don't really know what's going on. He just appears to be ill. It's it's very slapstick juvenile humour, I have to say. So it's it's gonna, it reminds me of um, the best way to describe it. It's kind of like Three Stooges type of humour. So if if you're interested in that sort of very physical um, style of humour, you may get a kick out of it. But if you wanted something a little bit more highbrow, you may you may be a bit off put by this film. It's it's kind of amusing. I, I, I would, personally, I was never sort of laugh out loud um, funny. Um, you know, it's sort of, I found it mildly amusing, possibly. And it's a, I suppose it's a very different take on the zombie on the zombie genre. Um, but it's, it's it's kind of it's a difficult film to really quantify. Uh, now, as I say, the story is going on. As I say, and he's um, slowly becoming more and more like a, a zombie, and eventually he sort of him and his friends sort of figure out that you know he's a, he is a zombie and rather than sort of doing anything about it they just, just sort of try to sort of cover it up and um to try and deal with it basically as best as they can and it goes from him trying to sort of kill various because uh, he's basically wanting to eat brains and this is the thing he gets all he can think about is eating brains and first of all he's trying to go and hunt you know just try and get wild animals Eventually, he settles for his his uh, fiance's rabbit, um, and there's quite there is one one quite amusing scene when they're sort of all in on it. Basically, uh, they go to this exotic meat shop, and uh, the sort of the guy there basically has got this um, big display of different brains of different animals and stuff. And you know, that, I, I found that that scene quite that that scene was quite amusing, and he's sort of trying and like those sort of delicate sweets and things like that. Um, but eventually the condition worsens and they find out basically that he, he can only really eat human live brains. So his sister, uh, who is obviously the, the, uh, the who's, who's played by the girl, plays Nora in Being Human in the US season, 
and uh, his fiance decided to try and lure a um, unsuspecting person from a bar back to the back to the house where they can uh, where th 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 this guy can sort of eat his brains basically. And this is this is what they all decide to do. The only person with any sort of real resistance to it is his brother-in-law, who's kind of semi along, semi goes along a bit, but has sort of real reservations about it. Um, then you have these these two hunters sort of turn up and kind of mess things up as well, and that that's really it. So the, the, there's not a, there's not a whole lot of plot to be going on, but uh, you know, in in a sort of comedy film like this, it's it's you know there never sometimes never is, but it's it's a it's a funny film. Is it? I thought it is quite there's quite a lot of swearing in it, so it's obviously sort of not going for a, a very young audience. And obviously with a zombie film and, and think eating brains stuff, you're never gonna you're never going to be sort of going for this young audience. But the, to be honest, the humour is so, it just seems so juvenile to me. It just, it, it's a very funny mix. If, if, if you're an adult and you're really, really interested in sort of like juvenile, physical slapstick humour, you may get a, you may get a kick out of it. I mean, it's uh, very, very over the top. The sort of performance is a very sort of pantomime. It's obviously not a serious film, as I say. There is some big homages to Evil Dead in there. There's a couple of, um, scenes where they kind of like literally strike the same poses and um there's a scene where he goes in the shed he's putting all these tools in and it's straight out of evil dead i also think it may be sort of uh it looks like uh, it reminded me of uh, edgar wright and his sort of directorial style as well so um you know it's uh it's, it's an interesting film visually so but it, I, I don't know if it, there is much meat on the bones if, excuse the pun so it's it's uh it's one of those films you kind of you're going to love it or hate it. I think if you're kind of interested in, as I say, like the three Stooges type humour, you may get a kick out of it, especially if you're a zombie fan. But if you're interested, in, it's not it's no Shaun of the Dead. Let me put it like that. Um, I'll give this one a six out of ten. Um, have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment. I look forward to seeing you next time. See you later.